we have to give a shout out to New York Times, our sponsors, <laughs> uh, especially after this article you read. I'm sure you guys are going to be buying their magazine. Uh, I'm, I'm convinced you're going to be subscribing to them and reading every article of theirs. This, uh, when I read this, I'm like, what? Like the level of stuff they write. I mean, you think this is a joke. Okay, here's New York Times. There has never been a better time to be short. Okay. So this article goes down, keep going down, and it says how it is bad. Get something I'm From where I stand at five feet seven, uh, being tall is widely held fantasy superior. You know, it made sense to fawn over height when facility ages ago when necessary is defending yourself. Da, 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 da. If you go all the way to the bottom and read this article, you know what it's really saying? How tall people should stop having kids, okay? How sh shorter people are better for society, why we should go back to being shorter, not being taller. Why it's not fair. I mean, the average person who has logic who reads this says, who even approved this opinion to be written with the brand New York Times? Unless if you're just trying to get a lot of eyeballs for people to talk about it. Okay? What, what do you see with the level of credibility New York Times has today? I know well, you're a big fan of this. I know you're like <laughs> a big spokesperson for them going around always trying to get people to subscribe. I mean, I, I, I'm just I'm endlessly shocked and disappointed by the New York Times, and, you know, and the Washington Post, too, and really all of the mainstream media. But the question is why? Is this, you know, Project Mockingbird just simply one? Or is this the breakdown in competence, having produced a, a newspaper that, you know, wouldn't know news if it hit it in the face? It, it's or would you secretly fantasize about owning them? The New York Times? Yeah. I, I never fantasize about owning the New York Times. <laughs> no, you wouldn't want to be like the editor-in-chief or... I think they've done too much damage to the brand for it to be anything other than funny. But am, what's am your I, level of certainty, though? 100%? 97%? Where are you at on this? Uh, uh, <laughs> that it would be good to own the New York Times? I'm at 3%. Okay, leave <laughs> a margin of error. Yes. That's a callback to my point. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.